A little over a year ago, uh, we found out that the zoo was using tablet computers as a form of enrichment for the orangutans. And what we could see straight away was that the orangutans were really engaged with the digital technology, but they couldn't interact with the technology the way that they wanted to. Roll around, hang from the ceiling, uh, use their body, but they were limited to just interacting with their fingertips. We realised this was a great opportunity for a piece of technology that we've been working with, which is the Microsoft Connect, to create uh, intelligent projections. So we could project in anywhere into their enclosure and detect touches on these projections. Mm -hmm. This technology allows the orangutans to interact the way that they want to. During February, we trialled the technology for four weeks and we got to see a lot of different ways that the orangutans like to interact with the, this kind of technology. And we also got to see the different ways that the different orangutans like to interact with the technology. So the ultimate goal of this project is to look at how technology can improve the enrich enrichment that's offered to orangutans. So primarily at this stage, we're thinking about those complex challenges problem solving and the sorts of challenges they would have to look at in the wild in order to get food, to make shelter, to find a mate. We're looking to recreate those sorts of challenges here at the zoo. The Microsoft Social New Research Centre is a collaboration between the University of Melbourne and Microsoft Research and we aim to explore the broad social aspects of uh, emerging technology, especially those that, are, that we consider natural user interfaces. The, the interaction between uh, humans and animals is a really profound and deep interaction. Uh, the orangutans are very similar to humans but they're also quite different. The most exciting part for me is to get the chance to develop a software that's not going to be used by human. When you develop a software for a human, you would expect the user would be able to click a button, for example, but for, in this case, we expect nothing. But we found straight away that they were really attracted to the moving object. One of the games was Burst, so it's just a coloured dot on the floor, and when the orangutan touches it, it explodes. And they really love not just the way that the explosions looked, but the way the explosions looked on their body, which is one of the cool things about using projections rather than a tablet surface. Marlu in particular went straight up to the projected screen and touched his mouth to that red dot. It's interesting also that some of them seem really interested in whether this has a smell. Uh, Dewi, uh, the youngest orangutans, she had a very cute moment when uh, she used our uh, photo app. And straight away, the first video that drew Dewi towards the interface was a video of her uh, zookeeper, Ben, waving his arms in the air. It's all completely new territory for us. It's uh, apes interacting with technology. So there's not a lot of documentation of this happening. We did suspect that, uh, that they were going to adapt to it, but we see just the movement and colour and the type of things that would engage a human are engaging the orang as well. Here at Zoo Victoria, we're um, focusing on um, positive animal welfare in every single species and every single individual that lives across the three properties. What we were missing as part of our program was extra opportunities for the animals to use their brains and problem solve. And this is so important for species like orangutans that are so intelligent. This kind of enrichment that we're working on with the orangutans is a great example of how we can do that. So providing them something innovative and new and extra challenging to add to their repertoire of enrichment here. Zoos can be really powerful for conservation. We can actually educate the public and amplify their voices and speak on the behalf of animals. We need to make sure that we're having an impact for conservation and that we're caring for the animals in our care to the absolute best that we can. And we're just incredibly lucky to have the University of Melbourne to actually introduce technology and help us actually learn more about the animals and how we can enrich them. To make these rather intelligent animals interact with their environment, to make that more interesting and to help their emotional stability, mm -hmm. having an environment that is interactive and can change over time and can evolve with them, I think is going to be extremely important and hence also the interest of many zoos around the world. We're really excited about working with Zoos Victoria in the future to develop more kinds of digital enrichment because they really want to be the leading zoo in the world when it comes to improving animal welfare and promoting types of conservation behavioural change that we really need to see in order to save these animals in the wild. So I think it's really important that we see technology not just for the betterment of humans but for the betterment of the world broadly.
I don't think we knew what a powerful impact this project would have and the international interest that it's encouraged. So perhaps as we look at projects in the future, we can be very bold about where the natural user interface can truly have impact in our society. So we're really looking to find ways down the track that we can use technology to give them the sort of control over the enrichment they receive, maybe the food they receive, maybe their social interaction patterns. And we feel that technology can provide safe ways to put that control in the orangutan's hands. New technologies, emerging technologies like the Connect, can really change the way that we interact with each other and with animals.